need them. They live their life for today. Come on. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. That's what they say. But they did not consider Christ, man. They don't consider the word of the Most High. This thing has been promoted. The Most High is saying, yo, I'm a, uh, there's going to be salvation in this word, man. Salvation in this word throughout in Genesis Revelation. They didn't consider that. The wicked do not consider that, man. They don't even think about it. They think about pleasure. They think about pleasure. Think about that. Think about your life when you was young, how you did all you wanted to do. And now, you're old. You're starting to slow down. And now you're looking back. And you're considering some of the choices you made. They weren't the greatest, man. They weren't the greatest. Look at that. Um, Romans 6 and 8. Romans 6. They weren't the best decision. Check it out. Twenty-one. Romans 6 and 21. Check it out. What fruit had you in those things? Well, if you are now ashamed. Right, so look back at your life and think about some of the decisions you made, and you know that you wasn't sat you're not satisfied with some of the decisions. That's what the Lord said. What fruit had you in them things where you are now ashamed of? Because we think about some of the things we did. I can think about a plenty of things I did, and I'm ashamed of. Come on. For the end of those things is death. The end of those things that I was doing is death, man. I don't listen, first thing first and foremost, I'm not gonna sit here and claim and say I'm making myself for the number. I'm not going to say, I'm guaranteed salvation when this hammer come down. I'm ashamed of them things. I know judgment still stands, man. I know I still may have to pay. Scripture tell you some men judges go before them, and some men judges follow after them. I hope mine went before me. I hope mine went before me. I hope my judgment, my persecution, my punishment is happening to me now. Wow, I'm broke. I'm doing bad in America. And I hope this is my judgment. Because I don't want it to follow after me. I don't want the fire and brimstone. I don't want eternal damnation, burn forever. I don't want that. So with the grace of the Lord, this is my judgment now. Doing bad in America. Broke and doing bad in America. Hopefully this is my judgment now. Like I said, I made a whole lot of bad decisions. I made a whole lot of bad decisions. But with the grace of the Lord, I turned it around. I turned it around. Ready? Romans 6 and 22. Come on. But now being made free from sin, and become servants to the Most High. Uh -huh. You have your fruit unto holiness. Now I have my fruit unto holiness. Now I do that which is right. Now I do that which is right. Verse Come on. Come on. All right. Let's go, girl. How you doing? Excuse me. Right. <laughs> now I do that which is right. I leave off the wickedness. Leave off the wickedness. Because that's the fruit to death, man. That works to take me to death. Then works takes me to death, man. Now I stand up in, in, in Christ's stead, man. Now I speak that which is right. Now I do that which is right, man. Before, I made a whole lot of decisions that was wrong, man. And if I stayed on that path with the great and dreadful day of the most time, fire and brimstone is my reward, man. That's why I'm admonishing my brother, my sister. Leave off the grill of the Gentile, man. Leave off. Wisdom of Solomon, 2 verse 2. For we are born at all adventure. Uh -huh. And we shall be hereafter as though we had never been. Uh -huh. For the breath in our nostrils is as smoke, and a little spark in the, move, in the moving of our heart, which being extinguished, our body shall return into ashes, and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air. They have no hope. They're done, man. They have no hope. You want to live like that, man? Did you, did you even really consider that? That the whole time you was living, you was living your life a set up after, uh, after an evil person, after a person that has no hope, or you yourself claim that you're a spiritual person, but yet you set your life up after these people that have no hope. They have no desire for a kingdom. They have none. Did you consider that, man? Did you think about that? If not, you got a perfect opportunity to do that now. You got a perfect opportunity to think about it now. Consider your life, man. Consider your ways. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 4. And our name shall be forgotten in time, uh -huh. and no man shall have our works in remembrance. Yep. And our life shall pass away as the trace of a cloud. And, and he shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun. And overcome with the heat thereof. This is what they say, so they don't have no faith, man. They don't think these things are happening for them. They think this is it right here, man. Get what you're going to get. Live your life. You only live once, then you die. That's how they believe, man. That's how they believe. We don't have no faith, man. That's not what we're going to be playing out. We're preaching, yo, straight up. 
live your life in Christ, man. So when the Most High is in Christ return, you can sit at the right hand or sit on the 12 seats of judgment, man. With the nation of Israel, man. Sit in judgment with Christ, man, and judging the nations, man. Having rulership, having life eternal. This is what it's all about. Everybody makes this thing about, it's about prosperity in America. It's not about the prosperity in America. The prosperity in America done came to a halt. It's done. It's a wrap. What are you going to do, man? You can't preach prosperity in America anymore unless you get more and more wicked. What are these preachers going to preach now? What are these preachers going to preach now? You know what's coming next, man. You know what's coming next. The signs are there, man. The signs are there. Wisdom of Solomon 2, verse 6. Uh -huh. Verse 5. So our time is a very shadow that passes away. Again, we're still dealing with the wicked mind, how they think. And after our end, there is no returning. Uh -huh. For it is fast sealed, so that no man come up again. But this is what man said. This is not what the Most High said. This is not what the Most High said. He said, if you, if you, if you mortify the block, check it out. I'm not even going to. You got read it. It's crazy, man. Whoever, hold on. Whoever used this scripture to say there is no reincarnation, the Lord said, don't call no man an idiot. Look at the Israelite that said it. It's very foolish. He told me to have you call him. Whoever used this scripture is very foolish, man. This is the wicked speaking. This is the mindset of the wicked. Colossians 3 and 1. If you then be risen with Christ, seek those things that are above, uh -huh. where Christ sitteth on the right hand of the Most High. That's where your mind supposed to be, man. That's where your spirit, your soul, your mind, and your body supposed to be in Christ, man. You're supposed to be fixed on Christ, man. Colossians 3 and 2. Set your affection on things above, uh -huh. not on things on the earth. Not on things on the earth, man. Because that which is highly seen in the earth is, and amongst men is an abomination to the Most High. It's an abomination to the Most High. Come on. Colossians 3 and 3. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ uh -huh. in the Most High. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in the Most High. Convert your souls, man. Get out of the world, man. Take your mind out of the world. And focus on the Most High through the Spirit, man. Through the Spirit. Your will and desire has to link up with the Most High. It got to be the same as Christ and the Most High. There can't be no separateness. You can't think you have your own will or your own desires and the Most High is going to grant you salvation. You can't think you're going to walk according to your own mind and think the Lord is going to grant you salvation. Consider what you do. Consider it. Colossians 3 and 4. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, uh -huh. then shall ye also appear with him with glory. When Christ, who is our life, appear, then shall ye appear with him in glory. But you're not going to appear with Christ in glory still living the way you want to live and neglecting this word. And neglecting this word. You're not going to get it. And don't go that way. Don't sit up in these churches and get it. Yeah, stand up. Stand up, sis. Don't sit up in these churches and get lied to anymore, man. Men, stand up, get the scripture, read it to these sisters, man. Read it to your children, man. Teach them the truth, man. Because the fire is about to come. The hammer is about to